down to that spot I was praying that there's nobody in there because it's the only place around here that I really want to fish I don't want to go into that, that smaller end underneath I want to be out here by the edge of the river where I can get uh, please 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 Oh man, oh man, does this not look good. This looks like a great place for me to set up. I wish I could throw out over here, and I may try it, but I'm gonna be throwing mainly on the edge of the river, and then on up in the edge, you know, inside the creek a little bit here. I've got some, uh, I've got some frozen bait here. Some of this is uh, bait I caught uh, with my net probably a couple of months ago, which I'm gonna start on it. And then I've got some perch, bluegills here that I caught about two, two to three days ago in the week. And then over here, I've got about 10 bluegill that I just caught that are alive. All right, it's uh, 3.39 and I've got my, got my, got my rods in and I'm not really expecting a lot to happen right now, even though anything could happen. Uh, this is a new spot, but it is in the middle, you know, middle of the heat of the day. But where I'm really hoping is that this fires up at, around dusk. And I brought some lights if I need them, because I'm planning on, if I have to, fish until maybe 11 o'clock tonight. So it's gonna be a long day, but, uh, well, I love it. You know, I've got settled down in here and, and uh, you know, got my lines in, got all my bait, everything where I want it, easy access. Got that, this area over here out in front of me all opened up. And when I just sit down and, and wait for the bite, I can't think of anything, but man, I'm kind of in my own little zone here. I'm on a beautiful big river here. You know, this is the view I get right here. I got my lines in right on the, you know, the meeting of one kind of a inlet to a main river here. It's like at the end of the road. If it wasn't for that bridge way down there and the truck noise, I wouldn't even know anybody else was around. It's just peaceful out here, and boy, that water is just a moving. All right, I just got a text from my wife showing me a picture of a storms that are sneaking up from the north. Uh, typically around here, they don't last very long. They're just quick and in and out. If it does hit me, I'll be sitting in my truck, and then I'll come out, you know, after it pipes down and I'm ready to fish some more. Well, I'm starting to hear thunder a little more often now. So, I think we're getting close to the water part of it. Now, all right, I'm gonna head up to the truck because I think I'm getting ready to get a downpour. I'm already feeling a lot more air or water in the air. So, if Catzilla hits, we'll let the rod and the hooks do their job. I'm going to sit up here and drink me some water in the safety of my truck, which thankfully was close by. Didn't mean to drop you there. I survived that. Now we're back in business. Got, I rebaited my lines. Both of them have got new uh, live bluegill on them. Um, hoping to get something like that. I may switch to a cut bait on my, my left one. But we'll see how it goes for a little while. It's getting uh, just a hair after 6 o'clock. So 
I'm expecting good things to start happening from here on out. Boy, I just had the fight of my life, and I hope it got on video on my GoPro, because, but I had that silly thing on five minute looping, which is one minute loops for five minutes. So anything over five minutes got uh, deleted. If I get him in, I can just hang on to him. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh my God, what did I just catch? Oh my gosh, this thing's huge. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh my gosh. This thing is a freaking brute. You know, right when I was talking to you, I look over and my line's going crazy. what I've been waiting for. This is, this gets me on the... Did you get it all on film? I hope. I've been sitting here, I forgot to hit the button. It's on that five minute deal, so I'm hoping I got it within the five minutes. He's gonna die. Oh. Um, we're gonna get some on. Can we do it on yours or... Hey, what holding it up. Hold on just a second. The picture. Okay, hang on. Do you want so, a video or a photo? Yeah. What? Yeah, what? Hang on. Yeah, what? Y'all video or y'all photo? Yeah, just do video, I can break it down. God, I don't even know how to pick him up. This thing is huge. I gotta weigh him. I don't even know if we can weigh him. Let go of my fingers. Let go, let go, let go. Man, he's got teeth. Let go of me, let go of me. Oh. Ouch, ouch, let go of me. Oh, he's... Oh, damn. Still going up. Was that thirty eight? Thirty is climbing. Thirty eight pounds. Wow, wow. I know that's not the biggest thing you've ever seen. 38 pounds, that's a whole new ballpark for me. Holy cow. I hope that was, I don't know if that's on pounds or kilograms. I think it's on pounds. 38, wow. Holy hell. I love this spot. Woo! <laughs> yes! Yes! In case anybody's wondering what I caught that fish on. Uh, I had just bought this um, with a cheap a quantum, uh, let's see. I'm just sitting here. Opti Optics 80. Um, I broke the handle off my other one. From up here. And it went with this rod, and it's a the world's the Mitchell Advocat. And I 
don't believe it's we seven or eight foot tall. Still haven't been able to see that in there. It's so beautiful. You and it's eight foot tall. It's an eight foot tall rod. We meant to and, uh, I think I just paid in the great I think like twenty-nine dollars over at um Forever free. I believe I got that over at Academy. And I got it over twenty-nine dollars. So and I got this rod with that Mitchell at Walmart for probably thirty-nine or something all together. So it wasn't a very expensive get up, you know, to get that big fish. Sometimes you need to go. Take a step back to see the truth around you. From a distance, you can tell. You and me were meant to be. 